I just wanted to go through um, a few weight loss tips because I know a lot of our people are wanting to drop a few kilos. Um, and just to, just to reiterate a few things around weight loss. Weight loss isn't achieved solely by steady state cardio. In other words, if you're wanting to lose weight and you're just going running, doing long distance running, that is not the optimal way to lose weight. It will help, of course, um, and it will help you maintain your weight, but it's not the most efficient form of to, to lose weight. Um, what is far more efficient is really high quality, high intensity training, um, HIIT training, you know, um, interval training, and also resistance training. So resistance meaning strength workouts, either at the gym or using body weight exercises. It can be everything from you know press ups to lunges to uh, squats to pull ups to whatever you want to do in the gym. Um, by building a little bit of muscle and by pushing really hard in, in muscle um, in, in weights, we're doing two things. We're Building a little bit of muscle, and ladies know you're not going to get massive. To get massive, you really have to push hard and eat a lot of protein, and um, you're not going to turn into the Incredible Hulk overnight. What you will get is lean, strong, functional muscle, um, which will help your body run better. Um, a classic example of this is your core area, your hip area. Um, by strengthening those areas, you will run with better form, you'll be stronger. Um, you'll also have more lean body mass, which will mean your, your metabolism will increase and you'll burn more calories. And <clears throat> that will help you lose the weight. The high intensity training, say your interval training, whether it be on a bicycle or a bike at the gym or a rowing machine or running, by going hard out in short spurts, for example, I'll go to the gym, I'll do a really good warm-up. The more intense your training, the longer your warm-up should be. Take note there. Hop on the treadmill after my really good warm-up, and then I'll start doing burst training. Now, I might do a minute on, a minute off, a minute on, a minute off. So going really almost full tilt, so 90% and then backing it off. If you're new to exercise, if you're over overweight, you might not want to do it on a treadmill, you might want to do it on a bicycle or on a rowing machine and make sure you get your cardiovascular system checked out by a doctor to give you the clearance first. If you're an absolute beginner and you're just starting out on a, on a, on a training program, we'll make sure you get a base first, okay, before you go into the high intensity. You do need a base fitness before you go and do that really intense sort of stuff. And tailor it a little bit to your to your needs. One of my favorite things at the moment is getting on the treadmill without the motor on and just trying to push it uh, with my feet and sprinting for about 30, 40 seconds. Hard out. It's a hard workout. And then I jump off and I'll do uh, burpees or I'll do squats or I'll do push-ups, that type of thing. And then... Um, a set of those back onto the treadmill. So I'm keeping my heart rate up, at the same time I'm building strength. And those two things work perfectly to be, together to make a really strong, functional body. Um, more weight loss tips, drink more water. Um, is another typical uh, thing which you've probably heard a lot. But water in our bodies uses thousands of or helps thousands of metabolic processes happen. So if you haven't got enough water, your training's not going to be ideal, your sleep won't be as effective, everything will not be as effective if you're dehydrated, so you won't lose as weight as effectively either, so make sure you're drinking enough water, and once again, those electrolytes. Um, estrogen dominance is a thing that um, is really becoming far and far more prevalent in our society, and um, one of the main reasons for, for example, women in their, in their 40s in the menopausal age group tend to put on weight is the change in your estrogen levels. And this, once again, can be helped by high intensity training and resistance training, and avoiding environmental toxins, good luck with that one, um, but things that you can do, like not drinking out of plastic bottles, drinking out of glass, um, there's some talk that, that plastic bottles leach estrogen into what we're drinking, um, that type of thing that you can do, and, and just keeping your liver clean, everything detoxified in order to stop those hormonal imbalances imbar happening. Um, 
common deficiencies in New Zealand and things that also can affect weight, um, common things like zinc, uh, selenium, uh, vitamin D, um, vitamin B, and iodine, um, especially if you're having thyroid troubles, check your iodine levels. Those sort of things can help with weight loss. All right, before I finish up for today, um, I just want to go over a few items of, of well, food, food groups that I typically eat when I'm racing, okay? So I often get up and I have a massive vegetable smoothie, so I'll throw in lots of horrible things, doesn't necessarily taste good, but I'll put kale and cucumber and chia seeds and linseeds and a bit of almond flour and um, kiwi fruit um, or anything that, that, is, that is good and healthy, broccoli, spinach, you name it, anything that's green, 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 is typically for me for a breakfast, and I'll down a massive big thing of that. Um, and if you can do that once a day, I think, well, even if you've not got optimum nutrition everywhere else, at least you've got a good start to the day. And a start, the morning is really important because it gets your organs woken up. Um, if you've got a big drink of water and then a big drink of the, the green juice, then you're, you're heading off to a good start to the day for a starters. Um, so when you're actually racing, people are always asking what do you eat, and it's really hard. It depends whether you have a crew, depends whether you're carrying everything in your backpack on a multi-day stage race is going to be completely different as to when you've got a five-person crew who've got access to cooking facilities. In an ideal world, I'd be eating like uh, pumpkin soups, kuma soups, um, kuma and potatoes, um, that type of thing for my really good carbohydrates, um, brown rice pudding, um, I, dates, bananas, um, chia seeds in your, in your drinks, um, they, those things are really, really good. Chia seeds are a superfood, as many of you will know. Um, then I also have like my muesli bars, and I know that from experience, after quite a long time of running, I really start to crave savoury things, and I can't stand sweet things after a while. Opposite in my daily life, I love sugar, unfortunately. I have to fight against that. But so this, where the soups come in, um, I do end up even eating pretzels and chips and salty things just to have that salty taste um, to, yeah, get rid of the, um, the sweet stuff all the time. So, yeah, pumpkin soup, kuma, potatoes, dates, um, soups. I don't go anywhere near gels. Um, they're terrible. Coconut water, great hydration thing, um, if you can get that. Uh, flax seed and linseed. So I, I typically make my own sort of endurance balls, I call them, and I and I mix in um, dates and uh, almond flour and coconut and honey and um, what else do I put in there? Coconut oil, um, a whole lot of good ingredients. I never measure anything. I just shove it all there and there and make it to the right consistency and roll them into little balls, leave them in the fridge for a day if they last that long. And then they are great to have as little snack packs. Put them into little bags of three or four in a, in a bag and stick them in your, in your training kit and you can just have them while you're running and it will give you sustained, good quality food to get through you, okay? Um, oh, the pinch test. This is something I learned from Ben Warren and as you guys know, we, we think a lot of Ben Warren and Be Pure um, and he's got a lot of great advice. Uh, go and read some of the articles on our site there. Pinch test. If To check how uh, hydrated you are, go to the base of your spine, so just at the back here, at the top of your bum, and see how much skin you can pull out. Now this has nothing to do with how fat you are. It does in other places if you can pull out too much, but not there. At the base of the spine, it's all about hydration. So if you can pull out a good couple of inches like that, of skin then you're, you're well hydrated if you can't pull out anything there then you're seriously dehydrated and you need to do something about it okay so that's a good test just to work out rule of thumb am i hydrated am i dehydrated um anything else before i go electrolytes are really really crucial as i've said before you can die doing ultras if you don't get your electrolyte balance right it's that crucial and i've nearly died doing it and i've had a, a mate um in australia nearly die because he got his potassium levels too low very very serious 
uh, thing to, to take into account, all right? Oh, another couple of tips here for good gut health. Um, this comes from Ben. Um, in your general life, this is your general thing, not for race nutrition, but if you can do this in your daily life to make sure that you've got a really good digestion going on, you'll have more energy, you'll have more strength, you'll be able to run faster, better, and be better at every type of sport that you want to do. So foods that are rich in probiotics, this is especially important if you've been on antibiotics recently. I am at the moment with a tooth problem. Um, so I have to have a whole lot of probiotics to make sure you go and get supplement probiotics. But also things like sauerkraut, kefir, kombucha, kimchi or fermented vegetables are very high in natural probiotics to establish good gut flora so that you can digest. Now if you've got problems with food allergies, gluten intolerance, um, um, dairy intolerance, been fighting with that with Hazley at the moment, um, that's a sign that you haven't got good gut health and your autoimmune system is out of control and you need to um, help fight that with some probiotics perhaps and decrease the load on your system, so getting rid of those tox, uh, those allergy causing things. Things like bone broth, absolutely great f um, food for you. Gelatin, yuck, um, but it's in, you can make some really cool fruit jellies. Uh, there's a recipe on our site. Gelatin's very, very important if you've got a leaky gut or you've got any problems in your gut to stop. Um, that can help heal the gut, okay? So gelatin's really good. Um, yeah, so that's about it. All the other tips for uh, nutrition, and I'm sure there's a thousand other things I could tell you, but I can't think right now. So thanks very much for joining me. I'm going to be doing these live webinars regularly. It won't be weekly, um, but as, as often as I can. If you've got a topic that you'd really like covered, or you've got some questions, maybe I can integrate that into uh, the next session. And we want to create more community within the group. So I'd really love it if you could all um, share this and, and um, put up your stories. We want more people. People like Carolyn Bray are just absolutely brilliant. They share their stories. They, they, they share their highs, their lows, their dramas, their good things. They cook up with people and go to other events. We'd like you more of you if you're into that. Talk to each other, the Running Hot Coaching family. We want to be more of a family unit where we get to meet each other. If someone's going to the, I don't know, Taupo Marathon or whatever, let the others know. Say, hey, is anyone else going? Love to hook up before or after. Hang out, maybe go and have dinner together. That type of thing. So we create more community. Um, so don't just leave that up to me and Neil. We want that sort of going from member to member as well. And we've got people all around the, the world that are, that are joining us um, now and it's starting to grow. So thanks very much for your patience, those who have been with us from the beginning. We're starting to get some legs and we're really enjoying it. So that's me for the night. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>